Hi, I'm Greg Ilk, SSD Product Engineer with Crucial. Today I'm going to walk you through the steps to expand your internal storage on the Sony PlayStation 5 using the Crucial P5 Plus. Now the first thing you want to do is go out to Sony and make sure you have the latest and greatest system updates because only with the latest system updates will you be able to unlock the expansion bay. So the first thing we want to do is remove the side panel. If you go to the Sony website and access their user manual, they have a very handy step-by-step -step guide on how to do that. You want to be very careful and always exercise extreme caution anytime you apply force to a device so you don't damage the unit or your chassis. Now you don't want to use any tools or anything external to remove this. It's simply done with your hands. So the first step will be to set the system on its side with the Sony PlayStation logo facing down. You'll also want the disk drive facing you on the right corner. Now we're going to start at the top left corner with your finger and we're going to apply a little bit of pressure up and then by we're going to apply a sliding motion along the bottom down and to the right. And then that'll pop out. And there we go. So once we have that removed, you'll notice that there's a metal cover plate that's covering the expansion bay. And there is a Sony set screw in place. We're going to use a small Phillips screwdriver to remove that screw. And then I'm going to remove the cover plate. Once that's removed, you'll notice that by default, the setting for the set screw and the riser is for a 110 millimeter M.2 card. Now the Crucial P5 Plus is a 22 by 80 millimeter, so we're going to need to move this set screw and riser one notch up and closer to the connector. I'll use the same Phillips screwdriver to remove the set screw, and then we will slide the metal riser over to the 80 millimeter position. Okay, and now we're ready to install the heat sink on the SSD. So when you get your heat sink, it's going to come in two pieces. You're going to have a thermal pad and then you're also going to have the metal heat sink portion. So the first thing we're going to do is attach the, the thermal pad into the metal heat sink. Now there's two sides of protective film over the thermal pad. We're going to start by removing the clear plastic coating and we're going to leave the blue liner and tab in place. Now I'm going to apply the thermal pad to the heatsink and make sure that it covers the entire surface area like so. Next we will remove the blue liner and then apply the putty to the Crucial P5 Plus. Now there's two sides to the SSD. There's a top and a bottom. You'll notice the bottom side doesn't have any components. We're going to want to attach the heatsink to the top side with the components and the Crucial label. I'll remove the blue plastic liner and center the heatsink over the SSD, making sure there's proper clearance for both the connector and the half circle cutout for the mounting screw. Now I'm going to apply a little bit of pressure here to make sure that this heat sink is securely fastened to the SSD. Like so. Now we're going to insert the SSD into the expansion bay. Now the connector is keyed, so there's only one way you can put this in. You can't plug it in upside down. You're going to want to use an insertion angle of about 30 degrees. And we're going to plug it into the socket like so, and then drop it down. And now we're ready to re-secure the SSD with our screw. Go ahead and screw that down all the way. And now it's snugly in place. Next, I'll replace the cover plate. And then the Sony set screw back into place. Okay, now we're ready to put the cover back on. Now this is a reverse process of what we did before. We're going to line up the grooves into position 
and then we're gonna do a similar motion but in reverse. We're gonna go a little bit down and to the left till we snap back in place like so. Now everything's all put back together. Next, you'll plug in the system and boot it up. You'll be prompted to format the new drive. You'll want to do that. Now to use the P5 Plus as your primary device, you'll want to go to Settings, then Storage Settings, and manually select the P5 Plus as your default download location. Now you've got plenty of storage room for all your games. Go to crucial.com slash P5 Plus for more details.